Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Jam from Virtual Vanamukteria. Uh, this is gonna be our first episode today. So uh, what I'm gonna show you is the basics. We're talking about how to drink vermouth. Super easy, right? What do you know about vermouth? So vermouth is not just something that you mix with your martini or your Manhattan. Vermouth is gonna be a fortified wine and it's fortified and aromatized with botanicals. And depending on the vermouth that you're drinking, uh, it's either gonna be anywhere from a dozen botanicals to somewhere over a hundred. Today, we're gonna be drinking my personal favorite. This is Coqui di Torino. Uh, this is a vermouth from the city of Turin in Piedmont, nor Northern Italy. And uh, this vermouth uh, and many others Anytime you see this Vermouth di Torino, that means that it's from Turin. It's designated from that area, similar to Champagne or Sherry. So, the way you drink Vermouth, super easy. You can have it over ice. This is the easiest, the most natural. This is the way I like it with really nice Vermouth, like this Cochi di Torino. So what you do, a serving of vermouth should be about three ounces. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm gonna pour three ounces of vermouth. And that's the basic right there. Coqui di Torino, three ounces over ice. And when you sip this, it's so smooth. We call this the Chanel vermouth. There's a lot of rhubarb and cacao flavors in this. Perfect for mixing a Manhattan or for sipping straight or over ice. You can also drink vermouth with a little bit of soda splashed on top. Get a little bit spritzy. Mix it up a bit. Drink this way. But we're not done. When you drink vermouth, you should have a bit of garnish with it. The garnish for vermouth is an olive and an orange. So this varies. If you go to a bar, sometimes you'll see them serve it with an orange. If you go to Italy or Spain, uh, you will see it served with a green olive and a uh, orange. So what I'm gonna do, we'll do this right now. Got this, a little skewer. Put that through the wedge. This is a Castelvetrano olive, nice green olive. Put that in there and there you go. There's your garnish for a vermouth. All right, I'm gonna drink this later. Now, you can also make some different sort of drinks with vermouth. So an easy one to do is called a Milano Torino. So we call it a Milano Torino because this specific vermouth is from Turin. And what's from Milan? Campari. Super easy cocktail to make. Campari from Milan, Cocchi di Torino from Turin. It's equal parts, all right? So what we do is, open this up. Let's do two ounces of Campari. And then we're gonna do two ounces of Cochi di Torino. Yum. What you wanna do is put some ice in there. So I'm not a mixologist or a uh, bartender. So please don't get angry with me. I'm touching it with my hands. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. That's how I do things. There we go. And then you can sip this again with an orange wedge. Don't forget to mix it up. So this is gonna be a nice bitter sweet. Mm. Two ingredient cocktail. Now, this is called Milano Torino, but guess what? We can make something called an Americano. So, what's that one secret ingredient that turns this Milano Torino into an Americano? It's a little bit of soda. That's it, super simple, easy. 
Watch and learn. Let me get drunk quick. There we go. This is now an Americano. They call it an Americano because back during Prohibition, when the American tourists came to Italy, they drank this and they really liked it. So they called it an Americano. Mmm. Perfect. All right. So, another drink that you can make with vermouth, I call this the Mastroianni. It's my own personal concoction, if you will, from my days owning Orson's Valley Vermouthteria in San Francisco. So what you do, get a mixer. All right. And then get three ounces of your vermouth. Okay. Put a cap on it. I'm not a bartender or a mixologist. Don't get angry with the way I shake. Whatever. Give it a nice shake for like 15 to 20 seconds. Yeah, that's good. All right. Sometimes these dudes have trouble opening when they get cold. There we go. This is called a Mastroianni, or if you'd like, a Shakerado. Think about it like a more diluted version of your vermouth over ice. So again, you can serve this with an orange wedge. And there you go, that's it. Now, I'm from the Mediterranean, okay? So we don't just drink on an empty stomach, all right? That's part of this channel here, this YouTube channel. We're gonna take really easy things, put it in front of you and show you how you can maybe host a party or have a better time if you're drinking alone or with your hubby or your friend, how to have a better time with your drinks, with your food. And we're gonna do it really easy like. So, don't drink on an empty stomach. You should always have something to eat with your drinks. So, one of my favorites, Marcona almonds. These are from Spain. Uh, these almonds differ from your regular uh, California almonds. They're gonna be a bit plump, sweeter. Uh, they're delicious. They have the same nutrients as your regular olives, but they go great, 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 great with your drink. So, pop a few almonds. Have your vermouth. And be responsible. So, like the video, subscribe if you want. Don't subscribe if you don't want to, whatever. But be happy, be safe, and love people.